Good morning, kindergarten. Happy Wednesday and happy Earth Day. Um, I hope I get to see some of you at our Earth Day Art Project um, Zoom session today at 1030. There's a couple things that you're actually going to want to bring when you come to our Zoom session. So you're going to need a black marker and you want the black marker to be erasable. I'm gonna show you, or washable, I should say, not erasable, and I'm gonna show you why in just a minute. Um, you're gonna want some paper, some white paper. I'm just, I just have computer paper. If you have construction paper, poster board paper, that might get a little big, but um, whatever kind of paper, it's fine. And then you want something that you can use to trace a circle for the earth. Um, so think a little bit about like the size. So if I took a little um, bowl like this and I, I'm going to use it to trace my earth, my earth is going to be kind of small. I want it to be a little bit bigger because we're going to draw inside of the earth. Um, so I grabbed a couple things. I have like a candle that I could use that I could, it's going to get heavy, turn upside down and trace my earth. Um, we talked about a colander and Michael recycle on Monday. I could take a colander, flip it upside down. I could use that to trace my earth. Something that I want to be really mindful of or careful of though, is that it has to fit on my paper. So you want to check and make sure that whatever you use um, fits inside of your paper. Um, and I'm also going to have with me just a couple extra pieces of paper in case I make a mistake. And also you, you're going to want probably like a little scrap paper to put um, underneath it because we might be, you might be using markers. Um, you could bring markers with you, um, colored markers with you, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you want to use. But if you're using markers, I just want to make sure it doesn't go through your paper and onto the table that you're working on. We had to be really careful about that in our classroom. And now you kind of have your classroom at home. You want to be careful about that at home too. Um, so hopefully I'll see you later this morning at that. Um, Finley is our star student of the week. And today Finley picked her favorite book to share with you. This is such a Finley book. Of course, it has some dinosaurs in it. Um, and I didn't have the book at home, so I found it. I found a really good um, video story of it. So I'm going to post that in our newsletter and you can watch Finley's favorite story today. Um, for reading today, you have something a little bit new. You have something called the Kindergarten Reading Choice Board that will be in your packet. And inside of um, the packet where your choice board worksheet is, there's all different activities that you can do for reading. So today you can pick one of those activities and either cross it off on your board, color it in, however you want to do it. Um, there's really cool things like dressing up as your favorite, dressing up as a character in the story, acting out the story, reading a story in your pajamas, one of my favorites, building a fort and reading a story. So there's all sorts of cool things that you can do while you're reading, um, but you're going to want to hold on to that sheet and have it kind of handy because throughout our virtual learning, we're going to come back to that sheet and say, pick a activity that you want to do on your reading choice board. So try not to lose that. Um, Last thing today for word work, you're going to be working on another word, how to learn a word, and we know how to do that. We've done that the last couple days. We did that a lot when we were in kindergarten. I'm going to just show you the sheet again that you're going to be using, and you know exactly what to do. But for this word, it's a word that rhymes with the other words that we were using. So I want to show you something. You certainly don't have to use magnetic letters for this you can use um, a pencil and a paper. I'm gonna show you at the end a magnetic, a free magnetic letter app that mom or dad could help you download if you want. Mom or dad kind of wait to the end and I'll show you how to do that. But um, on Monday we had the word play. Notice how it ends with an A and a Y. When A and Y are together, they say that long A sound like ape, right? 
So we have play, and that one has a blend in it. Then yesterday we did the word say. Notice how it's a rhyming word. It ends with that A and Y. Today you're going to do the word day. Think about how you would spell that word. We know it ends with that A-Y, just like play, say, d, d. So, I kind of want to think about, too, what other words could I use making or using the ending sound A? Play, say, day. Next month, it's going to be the month of May, right? So, I can take this D sound away. I can make a whole new rhyming word with that. May. Or maybe I want to say, hey, you're in my wah, wah, wah. way, right? I could even try it with a blend. This is getting fancy, a blend like we had with play. I could try to make the word Clay, clay, k, k, ooh, that's a C or a K. In this word, it's a C, cl. Look at that blend. I made the word clay. So you could do this on paper if you wanted to try it out today. You certainly don't have to. I also am gonna show right now mom and dad a free app that they could get if they want. Now, when I use apps, kind of like our Dreambox um, app that we had for math, the best result I've been getting is actually, I'm going to show it to you on my phone, Googling it and using Google to download the app. There's a light version, which is just fine. That's the one we use in our classroom. And then there's a paid version. So I googled um, ABC Magnetic Alphabet Light for Kids. When I put this in the App Store, I couldn't find the free version. So you can certainly try it, but this is where I had the most luck. Um, and I'll put this in our newsletter too. But once you download it, it looks a little bit like this. The kids know, know this app. We had this on our um, iPads in our classroom. And it's just basically magnetic letters that you can use to build words. You can make sentences with it. What's really cool too is after, like let's say, there's different backgrounds that they can use. Um, let's see here, we'll make a word that we just did. Um, they use the brush to erase, oop, and start over again. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So you kind of take the brush and you slide the word away and you can start again. And then if you scroll here, there's like pictures and different kind of things that they can um, make pictures with. So it's worth checking out. You certainly don't have to. Just another resource if you're looking for something different. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. I hope to see you this morning. If I don't see you this morning, I'm going to record it and Put it on our newsletter so you can always do it later when you have some free time. Bye, guys.